Casablanca. Do you always obey your parents? Do you obey them happily? Would you like to know about a boy who sacrificed his life to obey his father? This is a story of young Casablanca, a boy about 13 years old, son of the captain of a ship. He remained at his post after the ship had taken fire and all men had abandoned the ship. There was a great battle at sea. One could hear nothing but the roar of cannon big guns. The air was filled with black smoke. The water was strewn with broken masts and pieces of timber which the cannonballs had knocked from the ships. Many men had been killed and many more had been wounded. The flagship had taken fire. The flames were breaking out from below. The deck was still ablaze. The men who were left alive made haste to launch a small boat. They leaped into it and rowed swiftly away to some other place which was safer now than on board of that burning ship. There was gunpowder in the hold but the captain's son, young Casablanca, still stood upon the deck. The flames were almost all around him now but he would not stir from his post. His father had told him to stand there and he had been taught always to obey. He trusted his father's word and believed that when the right time came, he would tell him to go. He saw the men leap into the boats. He heard them call to him to come. He shook his head. When father tells me, I will go, he said. And now the flames were leaping up the masts. The sails were all ablaze. The fire blew hot upon his cheek. It scorched his hair. It was before him, behind him, all around him. Oh, father, he cried. May I not go now? The men have all left the ship. Is it not time that we two should leave it? He did not know that his father was lying in the burning cabin below. A cannonball had struck him dead. The boy listened to hear his answer. Speak louder, father. He cried. I cannot hear what you say. Above the roaring of the flames, above the crashing of the falling spars, above the booming of the guns, he fancied that his father's voice came faintly to him through the scorching air. I am here, father. Speak once again. He gasped. But what is that? A great flash of light fills the air. Clouds of smoke shoot quickly upward to the sky and boom! Oh, what a terrible sound! Louder than thunder, louder than the roar of all the guns. The air quivers, the sea itself trembles. The sky is black. The blazing ship is seen no more.